Don't miss an episode of the new series, Work the World, featuring me, Violet Chachki. Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Aquaria. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Enter now for a chance to win a VIP trip to Pride at NYC with Absolute, Planet Earth's favorite vodka. You and a guest will get flights, hotels, and exclusive VAP access to Absolute's hottest parties. Enter now at absolutepride.com. Entries close on June 14th. Hurry up, come on now. We said it's gonna close on June 14th, hurry up. And because Pride isn't just in June, Absolute's Rainbow Bottle is now available all year round at your local retailer. Uh, because guess what? Pride is every day. I love her. I just want to like cradle her like a baby. All right, everyone, we're tooting and booting the looks of season 11. This is the finale. These are all the red carpet looks, but yes. Aquaria, I've got to ask you, this is the time when you pass your crown off to the next winner. All right. What, what is that like? Kind of relieving to like leave a little bit of the drag race behind and, and yeah. the legacy of that and just continue to move on and figure out what my own thing is. Give the other girls some time to shine. Absolutely. Hello. Let's talk about some fashion. Red For carpet sure. looks, right? Yeah. Starting with our first eliminated queen, we have sister, Soju. Come on, Soju. She looking like, ah, uh, you know what? This is actually kind of a really cool look, but there's one problem. Them I titties are sideways. I see they're, the, they're, the titties are a little flapjack. There, yeah. Thought it was almost supposed to be a bow. Oh, but I, I don't. Mean, that, I don't. Well, that's that's that that's the weird part about this outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about other parts of the outfit yeah. that I actually really enjoy. I love the color red. I love her hair. Her makeup looks stunning. I think it just for me needs uh, a different taste or refinement in all the categories. Mm -hmm. I think my favorite part about it is where the hair looks to be going. I don't know. I'm just I'm not really vibing with it that well, mm -hmm. and the sleeves are kind of throwing me. It just. Uh, I'm gonna have to boot it, if that's all right. Sorry. <sighs> it's a light boot. So next we have Kahana Mantra. Yeah! This I feel like is Game of Thrones-esque. Mm. Is it? I don't watch Game of Thrones. For the, the Pokemon fans, very like braviary colored, like, mm -hmm. like the red, white, and blue of it all, but kind of medieval. So everything from the waist up for me, including the gloves is- an, The gloves uh, are made. Yeah, I love it. And, and everything from the waist up is fantastic. The thing that bothers me is the, the length of her shorts. It, shorts are so hard for a, a drag queen a lot of the times. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, her, her body still does like the proportionizing thing. Most of the elements going for it are fine. Mm -hmm. It's just like a blip in like taste level, I guess. Or not taste level, but um, pr proportions level. Shade. Oh, is that the shade? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Regardless, I give it a two. I'm personally. gonna give it a two. Next we have, ladies and gentlemen, Honey Davenport. Yes. And I feel like this is kind of just an homage to everything she always stays true to. Very that honey beehive aesthetic. And I love these bees coming out on the, mm -hmm. you know, the strong music wire or whatever. I saw this vegan leather dress skirt. That's my movie. favorite part. And it's such a good, fabric choice. I, I love that the skirt is my thing. Like so I, I see the hair, I see the effects of the bees, but I am so drawn to that simple, is it black? It's, what it's color just is that? a black um, And it's leather. so simple. It very is so simple, train. very effective. It's huge, it's basic, but dramatic. That to me is the most powerful part of the outfit. I mean, mm -hmm. overall, I think this outfit is a toot. Uh, there are definitely bells, whistles, the bees and the knees. I like the this. only thing I would say to like edit this, the hoop skirt that she has under the dress mm. kind of distracts from the the flares. Mm -hmm. But it does look like it has a little too much cake and <laughs> not enough like what you know like the. No, I, I, I the actually cake. you know what I uh, in 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 the time that I've spent with you, I've learned your language and I yeah. know what, exactly what you mean. There's just too much cake. Too much cake. She got too much um, cake. She just. I feel like it could be a little less in the hips and just poof, flow out poof, more. Yeah. And I give it a toot. Next we have Mercedes Iman Apala. I really enjoy this like boned leg mm -hmm. slit moment. I see what she did there. Yeah. I see what you did, sis. Is that very like 
Mm-hmm. Was it a, a Gautier and Mugler or something? Something. Like it has couture feels to it. She likes staying very traditional pageant. I mm-hmm. think beautiful yes. hair, beautiful yes. jewelry. Yes. But I mean, I think all around, it's it's a very glamorous look. It's very gorgeous. I think it's interesting that you say a style highlight because I don't think a lot of queens understand that. I think our tendency, or for many queens, it's we just want to pile shit on because we think that the more we put on, the more fashiony we're going to be. Mm-hmm. But a, a, a styling decision can mean sub- subtracting. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I see what you mean. I don't love seeing the panty in a contrasting fabric. I feel mm-hmm. like if that was in like the orange self or the even the fabric of the lining. Right. Be- Truly my only complaint about this is I wish there was a different lining in that hip because the hip is so special. Like the little like, ooh, I'm sticking out and then I'm draping and the leg is, is, is exposed. And I do wish that that leg had a more interesting shoe. Mm-hmm. A strappy sandal perhaps was her decision because she wanted to feel more leggy. But it's a toot for me. Hell yes. Next we have Ariel. Ariel Versace. Versace. On yes. trend. All I can say is on trend. Tool and ruffle and it's excess tool of tool and ruffle is a very, very big thing right now. Like I can it's name off you know, everywhere from Victor and Rolf all the way down to Christian Cowan. For me, I, I, I like it because it is on trend, but I also like it because it looks really cute on her. Yeah, it's definitely very cutesy. It's mm-hmm. a lot cooler, I feel like, than mm. a, some of the easier going pieces that we saw from her on the on the on the show. I wish it was a, a bit maybe stiffer of a tool or mm. something cuz there's mm-hmm. a lot of like it seems like it's a very soft fabric that right. it could use a little bit more of the like starchiness of like a, a stiff tool to give there's it There's nothing a better more. than a stiff tool. I wonder what Raven would say about that. Toot. Toot toot toot. Pump it like a trumpet. I knew she likes stiff tools. What would Raven say? I wish it had a stiffer fabric, but it's a really cute look for Ariel and very Mm -hmm. on brand for her. No, I'm into it. I give it a two. Yeah, two. Next we have, to the stage, Miss Scarlet Envy. Scarlet Envy. Work, Miss Scarlet. She's giving you very classic Scarlet, um, yeah. very elevated here. I really do enjoy this. The the jewelry on it was one of just those gorgeous like neck collar pieces. Beautiful. And mm-hmm. the makeup of the hair was stunning. For me, a lot of her dresses in my brain just are like red lacy glitter Trump thing. Trumpet like, skirt. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing and this is, this is very pretty. It's uh, it's all got like foam or some sort of like very thick fabric all in the the skirt of it, so it flares out really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very grand, and I think probably when she was walking, it also just like flounced and bounced. Yeah, and- I love this. I think she looks great. I give her a. Two. Yeah, two mm-hmm. for me too. Next we have, to the stage, we bring... Raja. Oh, Raja. Yes, Raja Jean. I've got to say, I don't think all the colors necessarily go together super harmoniously. Like the, You don't? Uh, I like the color of the dress and the hair together, but the body is looking so sexy, so right. I love the, the shaping of the cleavage. Mm-hmm. It's very simple. Understated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's shapely. She looks beautiful. I wish that hair was shorter. I think that queens think that length is luxury. And it could have been chopped. It could have been something that would have, could have been cleaner. I would have loved to see her maybe like something slicked, something more like tight and clean. Right? Something or like this. Dude, something or... to take it off of the shoulders. I don't actually think she needs those giant earrings. This is what I'm talking about. Like queens just think that they're supposed to pile it on. Just well, wear but, too much. But then if you know if she wore you know, I'm not a minimalist little... myself, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I give that look a two. Two for me too. Next we have Plastic Tiara. Plastic Tiara! Mm. And when she was on the mm. runway, she had even more feathers. I think what she's done here is she is taking her culture and really kind of showing off the beauty of it. And I love it. I think it, she looks like the most beautiful Vietnamese goddess princess. I don't know if this is like something a bride would wear or something, but I would love to like get down on a knee and propose with this because this is like just so stunning. Do you You're think you will go and propose to her? Honestly, Miss Thing, let's let's be real. Plastic tiara. Oh my god, it's happening! I don't I'm have crying. Any rings on or nails, so maybe. Oh my god, you guys are gonna get married. But really, she looks right, flawless. She, but she looks like she's like with a filter on. Yeah. And not even just like a blended filter, but like an actual like. She's got the contrast, the brightness. She's done all the levels and. Like, uh, how does that happen? Flawless. 
I give plastic it's tiara a two. Next we have to the stars, we have sugar cane. This is reminding me of um, like the Moschino bouquets. They did like a upside down mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. rose bouquet. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It it's really very is pretty. pretty. I love this ray of sun halo crown thing. It's done extremely well. It yeah. gives very that like Catholic Christianity, sainterly vibes. It's like last year's Met Gala. Right. Very that. Very like, um, uh, what's that called? Just religion. Heavenly body, yada, yada. Heavenly bodies, religion. I like it. I love a nod to religion always. There's like a, a couple things I guess personally I would have tweaked, but. Um, you know what I really love is her hair. The hair is. that hair, that blonde. It's styled and pretty, uh -huh. but it's also like fully unoffensive and simple and like, because mm -hmm. there's clearly so much going on with this look, especially if there's a reveal and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. But you also want to be having, you know, your nice done hair. Toot. Yeah, I toot it. I like it. Next we have Nina West. Yes. Columbus, Ohio's own Nina West. Looking so cool in this hair. Just, I know that hair is hard as a rock. <laughs> it looks, looks like an hard integration, as a rock. so you know you can. Yeah. Just, that's not going anywhere. Do you um, think that she traveled with that as a carry on, or did she put that in the her hair? Mm -hmm. That's the type of shit you can just stack boots and stuff on, and it still pops out the same. So, <laughs> yeah. um, I love this look. I like the little paper doll accents, little tabs in the corner are sweet. I think she looks adorable. She's very much on the Nina West brand. The highlight for sure is the rear, which, of course, is kind wow. of stressful on a red card because, you know, you're shown mostly your front. And uh, there's this like trompe l'oeil effect of like nudity, but she ain't naked. She's got a full like yeah. everything. She's got layers and layers on there and it just sort of suggests nudity. You know what, Nina West has been copied so many times and she does come up with some really, really fantastic ideas and this is her showing her ass. Yeah, I mean, even down to like the designer's logo being stamped at the bottom of it, <laughs> having yes. it look like a pattern piece with all the, the cup. And, and the, and the little the scissors, yeah, and those are a cool touch. And and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Nina West, I give you a massive toot. Same. Nina West, you get a toot from toot, me. Toot. Next we have Vanessa Vanji Matawa. It's the end of the vengification. She it's kind been a of, long time coming from Miss Banji. She kind of put all of her eggs in one basket in this outfit. I, she was like feline, it's cat suit, it's sexy. It's Banji. It's, it's Banji. I love that it's simple. All of the bondage on it is all in the same fabric as the bodysuit, which it doesn't break it up too much. It, mm -hmm. it says I'm doing the harness, but I'm not doing like some leather like, oh, daddy harness, you know? Yeah, I think she looks sexy. I think she looks Vangelicious. I mean, this is very what Vangie is. Yeah, so. and it's also giving me like big lesbian energy, which is always like is very she, present in my looks a, at she's least. A bit, she's a bit lesbian, isn't she? I, she does give me that energy a lot. I give Vangie's look a two. I give it a two. Mm -hmm. Next we have Akaria C. Davenport. There was just like stones everywhere. Oh my God. Others everywhere. Oh just my God. Emerald and, oh. and the, that, mm. what is that bird? Why don't, like a- It's actually a cock. Yeah. Th those are cock yeah. feathers. I mean, this outfit and I don't know how it works. really beautiful. There's a train on it and those feathers, I know that those look beautiful on stage. They have a sheen to them that mm -hmm. can only happen through those types of feathers and it's a sheen that only happens through the miracle of nature. Yeah. Um, I love this look. I love, 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 love this look. This also looks, you know, somewhat uh, Kardashian B, Met Gala-ish, you know, with the... <laughs> Kardashian B? Yeah. It does give me some Cardi B vibes. Um, yeah. So either Ms. Akira turned it out on the sewing machine this week and was like, gotta pump out yeah. these like Shh. cool references or this is something that she's been working on forever and, you know, it all shows. Um, it's gorgeous and that color green looks spectacular on mm -hmm. her. Absolutely, this look is a toot for me. She looks really, really fantastic. I feel like I've definitely enjoyed a couple others a little more than this, but really? it is still brilliant and a fabulous toot. For sure. Next we have Brooklyn Heights. Bitch. Girl, giving you full on like more Snow Queen. She's like Ice very princess. about the North. And all the um dangling. Oh, dangly things. Uh, you know, geometric teardrop crystals mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. stuff. And they were all like uh, AB coded, which made them even crazier looking than, you know, just clear ones. This is the kind of pageant that I like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's. Not typical, but. It's themed. Oh. It's like very refined, very, I mean, it's simple. It's just a, essentially like a, an easy dress, 
a gorgeous headpiece and we called it a day and we said, let's mm -hmm. not do any more. Let's not right. look ridiculous. Let's just look freaking right. Oh my God, she looks so right. It's body conscious it, and all the lace little appliques are placed in just the right place to kind of insinuate um, nudity in areas. But really she's fully covered, she's fully padded, she's fully corseted and she looks stunning. That headdress is a dream. It's an absolute tooth Twinkle, for me. twinkle, little tooth. Next we have to the stage, Silky. Nutmeg Wam Wash. Yes! And she is giving a uh, obvious reference to the original hairspray, the Tracy Turnblad cockroach dress. Oh! Because Michelle told her that she looked like a cockroach when she did her black face kini cockroach mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess this is kind of her way of like owning that. I like the, the different size cockroaches to give it a little bit of a reimagined vibe. What I don't love is the mismatched jewelry and the overdone jewelry. Mm -hmm. There's just All of that is a problem to me. Are, All of that is like, a problem to like me. Like if we got rid of every single piece of jewelry and maybe just like a gorgeous simple like black beehive or something like that. Ultimately, it's a boot. It is uh, I'm so sorry. To complete the evening, we've got the evening. Evie. The evening. The, to complete that evening, Evie Oddly. I really enjoyed this. The jewels draping on the sleeves were really nice. I saw this bitch up close too, and there's there were it was crystallized and lovely, and that's what made it really unique because those muscle shapes can be found on cat suits on the internet and t-shirts and hoodies and stuff, but she encrusted it and you know, it's it's a it's it's a it's odd. And I love this alien just uh kind thing. Silicone warbler organic <laughs> but also so inorganic headpiece. I think this was really cool. It's a great execution of um, a, a style of concept of dress that I've seen mm -hmm, definitely mm -hmm. other versions of. Uh, but it was styled interestingly and I thought she was definitely one of the cooler looks of the evening. Mm -hmm. And I give her a very odd toot. Yes. Trend, Trend alert. alert! Who is, Who is she, she though? Who is her? Well, she's got, well, she's got a story. It's a story, it's a theme, it's an outfit that tells a story about, about yourself. Tell your tea, Where'd tell you your come truth. From? Where did you, you go? Bitch, who are you? Where are you a you paper doll? Penny, are you a tooled pom-pom? Or are you a honeycomb honeybee bitch? <laughs> What's the tea, Christine? <laughs> who is you? Who the is Christine. <laughs> Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is, is Plastic Tiara. tiara. Woo, woo, woo. Looking so gorgeous. Yes, honey. She's just giving us all of Southeast Asia. She said, yes. put on every accessory you have and then go to the store and buy another and put that one on. Can I give a shoot just to Aquaria? Oh. Let's just make a reference to the looks that Aquaria brought. Listen. Times have changed in season three, and Aquaria was the house down boots, the most sunsetty and phoenix of the fire goddesses coming out of the flames. Oh, like, I don't you. know what. It was amazing. Thank so. you. Oh my gosh, and I've had such a fun time. This I know, is I can't season, wait for another season. The second season of my bootery and mm -hmm. tutory. I can't wait um, for another season. I'm actually leaving for the summer, so I probably won't see everyone for a, a while. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Provincetown, so if you're vacationing in Boston, come and see me. And also, congratulations to Evie, Evie Oddly. Oddly. Can you believe Woo. it? Yes. Uh, what are the odds? Uh. <laughs> oh my God, but you know what we have to look forward to, Aquaria, is RuPaul's Drag Race United Kingdom. Yes, RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Yes, you could. Oh. <laughs>